Hey, Alpha Tomatoes fans, uh, got a new film for you. Just finished the interior on the uh, Alpha Tomato, and thought I'd show it off here on a video. So, I'll just kind of step you through. You hear the noise, that's my fans going. I'm doing a little heat soak test. Just put a new radiator in, and uh, making sure it's going to keep that thing cool. But, anyways, here's the door panels, uh, kept with all the stock hardware. Um, they're actually from a 68, not from the 71, but they're so much nicer. They just look a lot more retro, and the armrest is very retro. I hate this, what the upholsterer did for the speakers. I'm going to put a speaker grill. That that just looks, I don't know, to me, ghetto. But that's just me. Anyways, here's the interior of the Alpha Tomato, the back seat. And this back seat's pretty much good for, like, maybe a couple uh, elves small children or little people if you put an adult back here they better have like Swiss Army knife legs to fit because it's pretty tight but the seats are leather and I've sat back here and they're actually very comfortable and you can see the roll bar got all covered up and I got rid of all the uh, the ashtrays and everything no smoking in this thing and this weird little wire thing here is for the original clip-in seat belts and they're actually very cool they clip into there I'll show you that when I put the front seats back down you can see the front part of the interior alrighty here we go let's see here so here's the dash and didn't do much with the dash actually they want like two thousand for a new one so I just put a dash cover on it and put some new wood and painted painted and, and repaired whatever vinyl was really chipped badly and you can see the instrument cluster is done and then I got a set of ultra gauges here which are very cool and here I'm checking the head temperature and you can see the RPM and horsepower and intake temperature all that stuff so that's my like my little high-tech gizmo and then I have the stock gauges and toggle switches here and I actually have air conditioning in this car so I'll turn the air conditioner on Hit the fan switch, and uh, can you feel that? Anyways, it feels pretty good. Uh, engine start button. Got to do something about this this multi multi switch here, the multi uh, headlight and uh, switch. I painted it, but I still kind of think it looks like crap. And then the shifters from the S2000, the knob and the rubber boot, along with the rubber boot here. Let me show you the, the clipping. So you get these, um, here's the, uh, here's the, uh, um, the, the buckle for it. it. Just clips right in here. So you put it around you, it clips, and it's, and then to take it out, you just, uh, pull this outer sleeve out, and it pops off. Very cool. It's kind of like racing belts to me. But, you know, kind of nice 60 nostalgia stuff. I also had I put in a stereo, but the stereo just would not fit anywhere. This underneath the dash here is enough wires and cables to light a small city. I swear the new harnesses have just tons of wire for the computer and everything. You probably can't see, but the computer's tucked in behind the stereo here along with my uh, emergency shut-off switch that you can see here shuts the battery off but look how far that stupid stereo is from me so what I have is a little remote unit came with it and I'm able to turn on when I, while I drive here so it's kinda cool it sounds okay you know for the best and acoustics aren't that great in this car I put a little sound deadening but I don't know if it's really enough. Let me close this door. Just close it and you can hear it. Oh god, David Lee Roth, right? This is horrible when it came out in, uh, in the 80s, but it's a good way to test your uh, stereo. I just, uh, here you can see I got some handles for the back passengers, and it's a dome light as well. On the roll, I have to mount this on the roll bar. Get them to fit. Let me turn that racket off. 
There's speakers on the back shelf, but you can't really see them. They're underneath that cloth there. All right, that's better, right? All righty. So, uh, oh, here, I'll show you the... That sounds pretty good. So you can see all the gauges work. Everything's going good. Oh, here's my horn. Italian, of course. <laughs> Very obnoxious. Okay, well, that uh, concludes the Alpha Tomato uh, new interior. I uh, love the way it came out. Um, been driving it now. Was overheating, but put a new radiator. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll make another video of a test drive. We'll drive it around the hill here. Get some. Get into the twisties and uh, sling it around a little bit. That'll be kind of fun. Free all, free all to check out. I'm sure. Have a great holiday and uh, tune in soon for the test drive.